The Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited, is presented by Veolia, the official sustainability partner of the PPA Tour. By Invited Clubs, where you belong. By Deep Eddy Vodka, dive in. By Stratosphere Gin, gin elevated to new heights. By Carvana, serving happiness all season long. And by Baird, the official wealth management partner of the PPA Tour. The Viol...
Becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. When you have it, you never want to lose it. It's that one trait the rest of us have and the best of us want. It sets the tone, the pace, the flow. Introducing the first raw carbon paddle from Selkirk Sport. Made in the USA and backed by a lifetime warranty. This paddle is engineered to make the execution of precise shots effortless. The Vanguard Control for players who crave unwavering consistency without sacrificing spin.
name is Lee Waters, and I'm a professional pickleball player. My daughter, Anna Lee, is my doubles partner, and her 16th birthday is coming up. It'd be great to get her a car, and Carvana has helped us make that dream come true. They have thousands of options, and I'm a mom, so of course I want Anna Lee to have something safe. Anna Lee has absolutely no idea about this car, so I told her we're going to Carvana's vending machine for a photo shoot. Drum roll. <laughs> I think this belongs to you. Oh my gosh, what? Happy Sweet 16, Anna Lee. Experience it for yourself at Carvana.com. intense don't let residue ruin your play reset the ultimate solution to bring back the grip spin and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle say goodbye to caked on gunk and slippery surfaces and say hello to a paddle that feels brand new backed by science and made with love by passionate pickleball players just like you experience the reset difference today reset play hard play clean For muscle cramps and spasms, you need fast relief. TheraWorks Relief absorbs quickly with a safe, gentle, non-opioid formula without the mess or strong odor. So get back at it. TheraWorks. TheraWorks. TheraWorks works. Use TheraWorks every day to prevent muscle cramps and spasms. TheraWorks works. Try TheraWorks and get back at it. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts. Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. Big it up, big it up! Yo, Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible.
recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. And good morning, everybody. We are coming at you live from the Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited. We've got mixed doubles action on this Friday, as you can see on the stream. It's a little cloudy, a couple raindrops coming down. But enough about that. I am Will Dotton, joined by pro pickleballer Luke Wasson. Luke, how are we doing this morning? We're doing good, doing good. Just about to watch some good pickleball here. Yes, sir. We've got Connor Garnett and Jade Kawamoto taking on Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd. Round of 32 action. Players are, looks like, ready to get things underway. One thing to look out for, we've got a lefty-righty combo in Garnett and Kawamoto. Always makes things a little interesting. Now we did just feel a couple drops of rain just a few minutes ago, so hoping that it holds off so we can get get some more matches in. Doesn't look too promising. But Doesn't look too promising, we'll, we'll tell you. We're hoping. We're hoping. And I guess you'll be able to answer this, Luke. I know it was super windy yesterday when you played singles. It's still windy here today, but not nearly as much. What are some of the things you have to look out for uh, in, the, when the, in the wind when you're on court? Yeah, you're really going to have to look out for drives, especially coming from Hunter. He's got a pretty heavy drive. He's going to be using that a lot. But in the wind, drives is really what makes, makes it happen. We see the speed up there from Johnson going at the backhand of Garnett. That is a That's tough a shot to hit. Interesting spot there. Connor's got a pretty good two heat. So. And to your point, Luke, the backhand, two-handed backhand of Connor Garnett. There it is. Great shot by Connor there. Finds the space in the middle, and we're tied at one here. Well done there from Todd to absorb the pace from Garnett. Send it back. Now, I know we mentioned earlier, Luke, that Garnett and Kalamoto are a lefty-righty combo. So kind of after this point, why don't you kind of tell us about some of the benefits that can bring for a doubles pairing? Yeah, for sure. The lefty-righty combo, it's it's a big thing. Middle's closed. It's, it's tough to get the ball through them, especially with Connor and, and Jade. I mean, like, good hands. Thank you. 
Always helps out two forehands in the middle, of course, to your point. Tough to make the call when it's coming that fast. So much spin. Players are able to get so much spin on these uh, Vulcan V Pro Flight balls, the new official ball of the PPA Tour. And there you see it there. Always good to have two forehands sometimes when you're not communicating. A little miscommunication there. Great hands there. We see Johnson going for the two-handed backhand speed up of his own. Kalamoto able to hold that one off. What did you see there, Luke? The cross-court backhand. Yeah, it was a great shot. Hunter was just edging a little too far to the middle, and Connor was able to go behind him. Well done there from Johnson. Gets the pop up from Kawamoto. Puts it away with an exclamation point. It looks like the rain. We still feel a couple drops here and there. So we're going we're gonna to hope, hope it spares us. Johnson and Todd having some trouble really getting to the kitchen, kind of starting those dink rallies here. We'll see if they can uh, get off one here. Good return there by Connor. Able to get it deep right on the line. Looks like that one a bit wide there from Johnson. That gives Garnett and Kalamoto a 5-1 lead. And Harris Todd with the ATP on the forehand. Oh, if you look at that, it looks like it went through the spacing on the net. That's what Connor's saying. I think we just saw in the replay, it looked like that's what happened. It looks like it it did go through that spacing. I don't think I've ever seen that before in a pickleball match. I have to call that the TTP. <laughs> the the through, through the post. post. The TTP. <laughs> you heard it here first from Luke Wasson, folks. The through the post. I guess, I mean, the, the court doesn't get bigger. It's still 20 by 44, but players keep on finding new ways to be winners. You see the athleticism there from Johnson, just the jumping one-handed backhand volley gets them off one. We'll see if they can make a run here.
and the drives. Good pressure there from Todd and Johnson. Yeah, great pressure. Definitely a momentum shift here in favor of Todd and Johnson. You see anything they're doing differently, or do you think they're just playing a little, little tighter? Playing a little bit more aggressive, a little looser, speeding up a little bit more, using that wind to their advantage. Love off the net there a for unlucky, Paris Todd. A little unlucky. And Todd sticks the volley. Garnett trying to get in there, trying to be aggressive. Looks like we've seen that from both teams early. See it again there, Luke. There Just the, the two handed backhand again. Speed up. Again. Yeah. That's his shot signature. Connor Garnett Tui right there. I want to talk a little bit more about the Tui. What do you think, Luke, are some of the benefits of a two handed backhand as opposed to a one handed backhand? I think like a, having a two-handed backhand, you get a lot more pace on your backhand. You can hit better spots. Great sequence there as the ball comes to us in the commentator's booth. Yes. That happened a lot yesterday. <laughs> yes. For whatever reason, it's one of the favorite targets of players. Seems like they want to hit us or something. More love off the tape there for Paris Todd. More net love. And the ATP from Connor Garnett, but what a reflex volley there from Jade Kawamoto yeah. to set up that opportunity. He's got quick hands there, quick hands. And no net love there for Connor Garnett. Sometimes the net only loves one team, not both. The wind probably is also playing a factor a here as bit, well. Yes. Awesome point from all sides involved there. What did you, what did you like there, Luke? It was a great point. They went from hard to slow, up to the kitchen, transition zone. It was just a great pickleball point all around. And that one a bit wide there from Kawamoto. And 
And again, just the aggression we see. We see Todd with a third shot drive, and then Johnson there to crash. To crash. Yes. The drive and crash. And that one hits Garnett and looked like he was trying to get out of the way, but hit his paddle. Yes. That's maybe just a little bit out there. Maybe, maybe a bit out. We never know. We, we can never, never know. we can never, never speculate. Know. We can never speculate here on air. That's going to prompt the timeout from Kalamoto and Garnett. We will take a quick break as well. Stay with us for more mixed. Say sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Celloc Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Play continues here, mixed doubles, round of 32 action. Johnson and Todd get the point coming out of the side out. They increase their lead to four points. And the speed up no good there from Kalamoto. Game point here for Johnson and Todd. Had the volley there, Luke. Unable to convert, and that's a that's a big side out for Garnett and Kalamoto. Yes. We'll see if they can uh, go on a run here. And Garnett had a good look at that one. Perhaps the wind may be playing a role. Maybe just pushed it a little bit away from him. And that one just going to be a little bit wide there from Johnson. Trying to go inside out with the forehand. And Johnson a little bit ambitious there with the forehand. Luke, how difficult is it to close out a game at this level? I feel like we see so many so many comebacks sometimes as Johnson and Todd call a timeout. What, how diff why, why do you think it's so difficult for some teams? It's 10 is the hardest number to get off in pickleball. I mean, you, you have, you're in your mind about finishing the game. You're not following your strategy that you've had the entire game, and you give the ball back to the opponents, and they can make a run, and there it, goes it's, your game, and then it's over for you. Of course. And it, it's – do you think that players, cut one, once it gets to 10, they try and – want to finish the match in style, something like that, maybe put an exclamation point on, on that finishing game? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I've noticed some people like to see 
then maybe they want to hit an ATP to win the game. They want to hit an Ernie instead of just grinding out a point. Maybe the opponent misses a dink, or you can get a nice high one to finish it. But some people do like to try to put an exclamation point on the end of matches and games. Of course. Well, we'll see if Johnson and Todd are going to be able to do that here. But Kalmoto and Garnett are on a run. Two straight points. And they've cut the lead to just three here in game one. The winner of this match goes on to face the number one seeds, Annalie Waters and Ben Johns, in the round of 16. And one thing to keep an eye, we keep on mentioning the rain, and it's starting to come down a little bit harder than it was the last few minutes. Sure. It is. The drops are getting bigger and starting to come down more. The court's getting a little wet. And that might be the reason for this stoppage. I thought it was a timeout, but it actually may have just been for the rain. Obviously, we'll stop talking about it. We don't want to. We don't want to influence the outcome here. <laughs> we definitely want the rain to stay away if possible. But while we wait for the players to get ready and get back to the court, we will take a quick break ourselves. Stay with us. We'll have an update on the rain situation in Austin when we return. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. We made our own tequila, so we'd always have a reason to get together, so you'd always have a reason to get together. Grab a glass, amigo. Our casa is your casa. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia.
Westlife. Ever notice how seniors and health insurance commercials all look the same? Because all of these companies see us the same, but not Humana. They see me. Humana. Big it up, big it up. Yeah. Yeah. of thousands of customers wrote about Carvana being smooth in their five-star reviews, including Terry. To be honest, I thought it was almost too smooth, but Carvana was super transparent from beginning to end. Car details, financing, every step, and there were no surprises. Well, my monthly payment did come out lower than expected. Then I got to pick up my Mustang at the vending machine, and it was so fun and exciting, I did a little dance. <laughs> Trust me, financing my car with Carvana was super smooth. Finance your next car with Carvana today. Pioneered by revolutionary technology. Backed by relentless research. We bring you an unmatched quality of product. Made right here in the USA. Each performance paddle is engineered to perfection and built to last. Because when it comes to the sport we all love, quality and performance matter. At Guaranteed Rate, we understand that life is about more than mortgages. Our aim is to empower you on your holistic journey to well-being and longevity by helping you achieve your financial and personal goals. Our new, completely free Rate app focuses on community, nutrition, and exercise, as well as offering a variety of financial tips and tools. The Rate app was built to support your mind, body, and spirit, helping to simplify your life and reduce your stress. Download the Rate app and start living your best life. Big it up, big it up, yeah. Clear in my face. The Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Celloc Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts.
on your schedule. Reward yourself and girls whenever. Stay or go when you wanna. And more is on the way. So when you're ready to go, go with heart. Go with Southwest. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts. For muscle cramps and spasms, what's your move? The Hercules? The elephant? The pogo? Make the move to TheraWorks. It absorbs quickly for relief of muscle cramps and spasms. A safe, gentle, non-opioid formula you can use every day to keep moving without the mess or strong odor. For fast relief of muscle cramps and spasms, TheraWorks works. Try TheraWorks and get back at it. Great things happen when good friends get together. So grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. To make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour.
At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. The Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited, is presented by Fila. To play like a pro, you need to dress like one. By Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. By Rain, clean energy for everybody. By Select Medical, the exclusive physical therapy partner of the PPA Tour. By Selkirk, we are Pickleball. By Vizzy, a flavor for every vibe. And by Skechers, conquer the court in comfort. And wel- welcome back to Grandstand Court here at the Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited. I'm Will Dotton, joined on the broadcast by pro player Luke Wasson. We are in a bit of a rain delay. Uh, it may not look like it's coming down on the stream, and it's really not coming down super hard, but it is coming down enough to make the line slick. We've had PPA staff members drawing the lines, but really until the rain stops, uh, we are going to be in a delay. So hoping that happens soon, but until then, uh, we will go to break and hopefully be back with you sooner rather than later. Thanks for your patience. More mixed doubles action to come in the Texas capital. Ready yet? Not yet, buddy. pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Veolia. I'm not actually a stereotypical senior. I just play one in cheesy health insurance commercials. In real life, I have Humana because they see me. Listen to what I need. It's refreshing. Humana. Bring it on! Pack all the things. Fly on your schedule. 
Reward yourself and the girls whenever. Stay or go when you wanna. And more is on the way. So when you're ready to go, go with heart. Go with Southwest. journey our experts are here to help My name is Lee Waters, and I'm a professional pickleball player. My daughter, Anna Lee, is my doubles partner, and her 16th birthday is coming up. It'd be great to get her a car, and Carvana has helped us make that dream come true. They have thousands of options, and I'm a mom, so of course I want Anna Lee to have something safe. Anna Lee has absolutely no idea about this car, so I told her we're going to Carvana's vending machine for a photo shoot. Drum roll. <laughs> I think this belongs to you. Oh my gosh, what? Happy Sweet 16, Anna Lee. Experience it for yourself at Carvana.com. The Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Celloc Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. At Baird, we offer a different, more holistic approach to wealth management with your career, family, friends, and community. Finding time for you and making sure your family's financial plans are on track can be a real challenge. At Baird, our financial advisors get it. We'll partner with you to create a unique financial plan and coordinate with your legal and tax advisors to bring it all together so you have more time for what matters most. Sip, surf, and slam with Sanzo, the first Asian-inspired sparkling water made with real fruit and no added sugar. Unique and refreshing for the ultimate flavor smash. Find us at drinksanzo.com.
Great things happen when good friends get together. So grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. Our casa is your casa. The Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Typical insurance for every senior. I'm not actually a stereotypical senior. I just play one in cheesy health insurance commercials. In real life, I have Humana because they see me. Listen to what I need. It's refreshing. Humana. Guaranteed Rate, we understand that life is about more than mortgages. Our aim is to empower you on your holistic journey to well-being and longevity by helping you achieve your financial and personal goals. Our new, completely free Rate app focuses on community, nutrition, and exercise, as well as offering a variety of financial tips and tools. The Rate app was built to support your mind, body, and spirit, helping to simplify your life and reduce your stress. Download the Rate app and start living your best life.
Play hard for fun, to win, to live. Whatever your play, there's Penetrax Joint and Muscle Cream to let you play on. Deep penetrating relief without greasiness, irritation, or unpleasant odor. Inspired by nature and 100% guaranteed. Try Penetrax and play on. And we're back, mixed doubles action at the Veolia Austin Open. I'm Will Doughton here. And what a point there by all parties goes the way of Kalmodo and Garnett. Hunter Johnson, Paris Todd taking on Jade Kalmodo and Connor Garnett here in the round of 32. Johnson and Todd took game one, 11-8, and have a big lead here, 7-1 in game two. seen a couple volleys, a couple counters here from Garnett go long in game two. See another one there. And some love off the net there. He gets the side out. Or nope, excuse me, second serve here. Nope, it is a side out. There we go, third time's the charm. Garnett to serve here. And that one close, it looked like it was so close to dipping in from Garnett, called just back.
some good pressure there from Johnson and Todd, keeping Garnett and Kalamoto back. Connor Garnett, the two-handed backhand cross-court Ernie. Such a tough angle to get there. What a shot. like Johnson had a look at the ATP there on the backhand. Called wide, that'll make it 3-8 with Kawamoto to serve. That'll be that'll prompt a timeout here called by Johnson and Todd with a run from Calmoto and Garnett. And we'll take a quick break to stay with us for more game two action of mixed doubles in Austin. We're back here on the broadcast. I'm Will Dotton, joined by pro player Luke Wasson. Just saw a great take there from Connor Garnett. There, him and Jade Kalamoto are down a game, serving 6-8. That is textbook defense there, Luke. Some great yes, resets sir. to get yes. into the kitchen. Great hands. And that is going to tie it up here at eight. Kalamoto and Garnett were trailing two eight. Now we're all knotted up. Let's see if they can continue the run. That one, believe, called wide. Sailed just a little bit long. Nice put away there from Johnson. Gets the two-handed backhand. Shows Garnett he, he, he's he got a two-e as well. 
Yes, yes, they both do. But able to come out on top Hunter of that got one. Got the best of them on that one. And then right back at it, Garnett with the backhand. We've got a game point here in game two. Jade Kalamoto, Connor Garnett on the comeback trail with a with a chance to tie it up at a game apiece. We'll take a quick break as well. Stay with us for the latter stages of this game two. Thousands of customers wrote about Carvana being smooth in their five-star reviews, including Terry. To be honest, I thought it was almost too smooth, but Carvana was super transparent from beginning to end. Car details, financing, every step, and there were no surprises. Well, my monthly payment did come out lower than expected. Then I got to pick up my Mustang at the vending machine, and it was so fun and exciting, I did a little dance. <laughs> Trust me, financing my car with Carvana was super smooth. Finance your next car with Carvana today. And game point saved by Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd. We'll see what they can do here with the serve. We see the continued success of the drive, especially on the third shot here, Luke. Yes. Big point there. What do you like there, Luke? Yeah, it was a good speed up from Hunter. And they're on a nice run here. Let's see if they can finish it out. Oh, and out. another timeout here. A lot of timeouts here late. The tension is high. A trip to the round of 16 on the line here on Grandstand Court. And I know we've seen a lot in this match, Luke. A lot of driving in the thirds, a lot of crashing. Uh, from the player, from the teams that are serving. What do you think are some of the benefits of that strategy, especially in doubles? Yeah, I mean, driving crash is really useful, especially on the side that Hunter and Paris are on with the wind in their face. They're they're able to put a lot of pressure on them, a lot of topspin, driving crash. I mean, you can put pressure on the person, likely get a pop up if the person who's crashing is big and long. It just it seems to work. It works a lot. We saw it a lot in Minnesota, seeing it a lot here as well. We'll see if, if we have more of it in store after this timeout. And the miss hit there from Connor Garnett. Shankasaurus there. Couldn't have said it any better myself, Luke. And we've got ourselves a match point here for Hunter Johnson and Paris Todd on a one. And one match point saved. Garnett playing big in the middle, finishes up with the backhand. And that is going to do it. What hands there from Connor Garnett to keep that point alive? Great but match point. Great match point. Hunter Johnson, Paris Todd, the number 23 seeds, moving on in mixed doubles. They will now take on the number one seeds, Annalie Waters and Ben Johns, in the round of 16. We've got more matches coming up for you from Grandstand Court on this mixed doubles Friday at the Veolia Austin Open. Stay with us.
yourself. When the game gets intense, don't let residue ruin your play. Reset, the ultimate solution to bring back the grip, spin, and control to your carbon fiber pickleball paddle. Say goodbye to caked on gunk and slippery surfaces and say hello to a paddle that feels brand new. Backed by science and made with love by passionate pickleball players just like you. Experience the reset difference today. Reset, play hard, play clean. Ever notice how seniors and health insurance commercials all look the same? Because all of these companies see us the same. But not Humana. They see me. Humana. La Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Celloc Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. sparkling water made with real fruit and no added sugar. Unique and refreshing for the ultimate flavor smash. Find us at drinksanzo.com. <laughs> Notice how seniors and health insurance commercials all look the same? Because all of these companies see us the same. But not Humana. They see me. Humana. This is what you're waiting for. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Pack all the things. Fly on your schedule. Reward yourself and 
girls whenever. Stay or go when you wanna. And more is on the way. So when you're ready to go, go with heart. Go with Southwest. invited. We take pride in creating vibrant communities where everyone is welcome, home to new golfers and major champions. Host to historic professional tournaments and cherished family celebrations. Come join our community of more than 200 clubs. Invited where you belong. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Elevation Athletic Club here in Lakeway, Texas, just outside of Austin. We've got a great round of 32 mixed doubles match between Thomas Wilson and Vivian David against Eric Roddy and Perina Imperato. Eric Roddy and Perina getting here as the 40th seed. No small feat, but certainly have a battle with Viv and Thomas, uh, the number two ranked seed. I'm Ryan DeWidgen, and this is Carlos, joined here by Carlos Dorlora. Hello, everyone. Yeah, we're about to get started here. Vivian David starting us off. Should be a good one. For a big drive there. It's going to be tough with the wind to see how well the drives work, but. Great rally there between the two. Eric Roddy and Thomas certainly not shy about taking a lot of court there with their forehand. Great first mix point. Good leave there from Vivian. Carlos is a signed Pro XR player, quite familiar with Eric's game. Can you give us a little bit of color on what we should expect to see Eric doing out here on the court? Yeah, he's uh, definitely going to look to take a lot of court. He's pretty comfortable on the left. Um, I haven't seen him play a ton of mix, but um, yeah, he's got that jack sock. Tyson McGuffin win, so we know he can play. Oh, there was an athletic play for Merrick. That was tough wind conditions here, leading to swirling balls, even at the dink level. Second missed return there from Perina. Gives Vivian Thomas an early lead. Vivian Thomas coming off of a, a gold medal win in Minnesota. Certainly have shaped themselves up to be the second best or contending to be the best week in and week out. There's the famous forehand drive from Thomas. I'm always shocked at how powerful it is, but it's definitely one of the best in the game. Thomas and Viv, no shortage of smiles, even through the ups and downs of every match. Joined here with a lot of their hometown friends and family, so a little bit of a home court advantage for sure. Yeah. 
Timeout taken by Eric and Perina. Thomas and Viv head into this timeout with a 6-1-1 lead. You can maybe hear the cheers in the background. A lot of fun energy here as they expect to probably get to Sunday. Fun fact, Carlos is the former director of pickleball here at the club. Certainly knows, should know the wind conditions and how these courts are playing. Any uh, ins insider tips, Carlos? Well, actually, uh, these courts right here were not pickleball courts when I was uh, the director here, but the first four were. So I couldn't tell you about the bounces. I could tell you about the tennis court bounces on these on these courts, but not really the pickleball. But yeah, definitely windy. Um, but we'll see how they handle the, the conditions here. Oh, Vivian had it there. Fun fact about Eric, he's actually a internal project manager for Bank of America. And just out here in Austin on a, on a Friday, playing some mixed doubles. Good side out there. For, let's see if they can get something together here at 1-6. Nice reach in speed up there from Viv. Gets so low, able to create so much top spin just by kind of brushing up on that ball. Very cooperative line calling here. <laughs> yeah. Side out there. Roddy and Imperato getting to this match with a three game grinder over Sam Query, the great Sam Query, and Angie Walker. That's routine for Thomas. Yeah, he's so dangerous with that middle forehand. He can create so much spin and power. Great crash and bash there. Certainly part of the recipe for them. Mixed doubles these days is just about bringing so much pressure and and both of them can do that. Wow. What an athlete. Our colleague Dave likes to call him one of the best athletes on tour, and we, we certainly agree. Scoreboard seems to have a little bit of a malfunction here. It's 9-2. Thomas and Will, uh, sorry, Thomas and Viv are up. Three, three missed returns there for Imperato in this first game. So we got a game point here. Good rip there. So Thomas and Vivian taking game one here in this round of 32. We'll switch sides and get back to you in the game two. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts.
play hard for fun to win to live whatever your play there's penetrax joint and muscle cream to let you play on deep penetrating relief without greasiness irritation or unpleasant odor inspired by nature and 100 guaranteed try penetrax and play on Welcome back to Lakeway. We are in game two of this round of 32 mixed doubles match. Thomas and Viv cruising to the first one, applying a lot of forehand pressure, crash and bash, uh, some missed returns on the part of Roddy and Imperato. Let's see if they can give him a game two and potentially force a game three. The winner of this will go on to face Kate Fahey and Johnson Cole, the 47th seed who have battled their way through the qualifying and uh, won two rounds today against some pretty good teams, so. Mentioned it for the seventh time, but the forehand put away power from Thomas is yeah. largely unmatched here in tour. My my tennis friends would say that's a lively arm. Good backhand punch there from Roddy. Fist pump. Maybe that can get them a little bit of mojo here in game two. They're going to need to make a lot of balls, but also find a way to bring pressure to Thomas and Viv. Nice. Roddy's hands showing up right now. Karina from Charlotte as well also works at a bank, so team chemistry should be as high as you could possibly get. For sure. Oh, unlucky bounce there off that tape. But I'm sure Thomas will take it. I'm Viv and Thomas. Thomas continues to bring foreign pressure, just rip until it's not working. And if you get into the kitchen, I think you start dinking to Perina. She's missed quite a few. Good defense here. Oh. Eric Roddy, big on the left hand side. He's been very athletic with both the backhand and the forehand volleys here. Viv keeping him honest. Nice little inside out roll down the line. Oh, tough wow. neck cord there to handle. Routine for Thomas. Smiles galore. The hands are up. Owning that was a bit, bit lucky, but everyone's going to take it here with the the fields being so deep and so talented. A little too much pressure there for Eric. Becomes a 4-0 lead here for Thomas and Viv. That would have been a great play. I like I like Eric being aggressive on the force there. I don't know if it's in their favor to let this kind of conservative kitchen play. So any any sitter, I think he should be taking with his forehand and, and trying to create pressure off of it. Ooh. 
Left that one up a little too high. Get too much court to uh, Thomas there. See if they can get something going here. If there was a Jordan-esque logo of, of pickleball, it would be Thomas on the... Without a doubt. With the overhead Ernie. Yeah. 401. Good shot. Good roll there by Perina. Catching Thomas a little off guard, keeping him honest, just as Viv did moments ago to Eric. This would be a big side out. Nice forehand speed up there by Eric. He's pretty close to us. He may be listening in on the strategy. <laughs> oh, I like that play. There we go. Held, held a two-handed backhand. Rips it past. Viv's left hip, very, very nifty. I think Eric's just got to trust that the drop's going to be there and use his length and, and foreign presence and just, just go for it at this point because it's the conditions are tough to, to make balls continuously. Perina's struggling a bit. Eric and Crafty. Great defense. Oh, no. Fifth net cord winner there. Tough. We're with you, Eric. We're with you. I like the idea there, though, from Eric. He's uh, definitely trying to take a little more court with that forehand in the middle. Great drive there from Vivian. Setting up an easy crash and bash put away. And that sails long. Tough to be making those unforced errors at this stage, but wind, nerves, great, great competition, and it all adds up to contributing to those things. We're lucky we're still playing here. Isolated thunderstorms, light drizzles. Despite the wind and the chilliness, I think all the players are happy that this is happening, both on the pro level and the amateur levels. Over 800 amateurs playing in the various age groups and divisions. here at 6-1. Thomas and Viv trying to take game two so they can cruise to a round of 16 against Kate Fahey and John Sincola who are racking up the quality wins here through the qualifier and in two matches here today. They, they took down Lindsey Newman and Rafa Hewitt in two to get there. Play there by Eric Roddy, taking charge in the middle, fending off that attack from Vivian. Six, one, 
Oh no, six net cord. Just out by Eric, trying to create there, going to Thomas's backhand with an inside out. Carlos, are you the belief that net cords are lucky, in it, or are they more of a skill? They are no doubt luck. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess you I could make know. the argument. It just depends what kind of net cord it is. If it was the right shot, um, I don't know. I, I've, I've, I've just seen both ends of it, but... What I don't believe in is just saying sorry after a net cord. Ooh, okay. It's just part of the game. Maybe a paddle up, but. Maybe that's why we're commentating and, and they're <laughs> playing. Maybe. That brings us to 7 1 1. Eric and Perina not able to get much going there, but another quick side out could give them a shot getting back in this game. Nice not play there. Great crunch on the forehand. Okay, so they do get it back. Oh, just can't afford to miss a serve at this point of the match. A little bit of miscommunication, miscommunication there. Quick side out back to Thomas and Viv. Looking to close this one out at 7-1. The weather holds off. We'll continue to have some great high-powered matches here on Grandstand. Thank you for tuning in to the Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited. Oh, Eric all over that one. Good leave All there. Right. Getting yep. the ball back again. Look for Eric to uh, keep taking over. I feel like even on the points where he's taking over and he's lost, can't be discouraged about it. He's got to keep on with that strategy if they want a chance here. That return sails just long, so quick point there for Roddy and Co. Points going here. Good rip there. I thought he was going for a drop. And that's a timeout. That earns that three point run, earns a timeout for Roddy and Imperato. Battling back here in game two of this match. Say sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Welcome back, everyone, to this grandstand mixed doubles match. Roddy and Imperato now on a four-point run, battling back at 5-7-1, forcing that timeout. Yeah, as soon as that ball goes up and you see Thomas 
wind up. That that's not coming back. But yeah, good little run here. Five seven two. Uh oh. Good D there. Well, that, that a great spirited run there. Ends up in this side out. Let's see if they can hold him off at 7-5. Roddy doing a good job of bringing a lot of pressure, especially up around the kitchen line. Ooh, cross-court attack. Punish there by Vivian's backhand punch. She's seen that a lot from a lot of the top males on tour. Smart, smart drive cross court to catch them unwinding the stack, catching Imperato a little bit off guard. That earns Thomas and Viv a timeout here at 9-5. Welcome back, everyone, after that timeout. Thomas and Viv starting to bring the pressure back the way they know how to do it. One more. And that gets us to game point, match point. Oh. Wow, what a shot. Nifty set up there at the two-handed backhand cross court. I think she's a bit surprised at how she finessed that, but beautiful, beautiful shot. All right. They're fighting. Yep, definitely in it. They're definitely caught on to the right strategy, staying with it a little more. Did you know Thomas has a powerful forehand, Carlos? <laughs> I had no idea, but thank you for letting me know. Anytime. Oh. As we wow. all like to say, I was on it. <laughs> probably, probably what's going through Thomas's head there, but hey. Props to Eric for trying to bring the pressure and do something there. Uh, he's done that quite successfully to earn them a few of their points. A soft forehand there by Thomas. I think he had to adjust in real time due to the win. So ball back on the paddle of Vivian with match point here in game two. to this match here on Grandstand. Thomas and Vivian take it 11-2, 11-6. They're on to the round of 16 against Kate Fahey and John Sincola. They're met with applause from their hometown friends and family here in Lakeway, Texas, just outside of Austin here on a windy day. But a beautiful Friday, high-level competition. We'll be back on Grandstand in just a bit.
Ever notice how seniors and health insurance commercials all look the same? Because all of these companies see us the same. But not Humana. They see me. Humana. Well, it's easy. I play longer, I feel stronger, and I recover faster. It's a must, it's effective, and it's stylish. rate, we understand that life is about more than mortgages. Our aim is to empower you on your holistic journey to well-being and longevity by helping you achieve your financial and personal goals. Our new completely free rate app focuses on community, nutrition, and exercise, as well as offering a variety of financial tips and tools. The rate app was built to support your mind, body, and spirit, helping to simplify your life and reduce your stress. Download the rate app and start living your best life. No. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the bear difference. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Big it up, big it up. Yo, there are still a few good ideas left in the world. Ours was to make our own tequila. Grab a glass, amigo. Our casa is your casa. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed-fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. To make it to <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Elevation Athletic Club grandstand court where we've got a really high quality match coming up in the round of 16 we've got Lauren Stratman and Julian Arnold the ninth seed taking on Hurricane Tyra Black and Dylan Frazier the eighth seed Julian Lauren come 
off a three-game win against Jackie Kawamoto and Patrick Smith. No small feat. And Hurricane Tyra Black, Dylan, come off a relatively easy two-game match against Camilo Garcia and Steve Deacon. Here in the round 16, obviously it's a best of three side out scoring here on Grandstand. We're gonna have some really high powered play. I'm Ryan DeWidgen joined here by Carlos Delora. And we're about to get into this match. They're gonna be picking out their Vulcan ball that they wish to play game one with. We may be slightly delayed. It seems as if Julian Arnold forgot his T-shirt or athletic wear underneath his hoodie. So he will be going to the men's locker room to track that down. But we'll get back here shortly again for a match against these two amazing teams. It's a bit distracting here, Carlos, given the quality of matches happening around yeah, too, us. Too many good games going on. We have Hayden and Leia taking on Matt and Lucy. Directly behind us, we have Zane and Coop taking on Alshon and Jesse Irvin. A lot of amateur play 25 feet away from us. It's just a, a bonanza of pickleball. Quite a few fans lining here, lining the grandstand here. And Julian and Lauren will have a bit of a hometown advantage given their Austin residency. Carlos, you're a player, 6-0 in rising. You've been in tournaments, played a lot of rec. What's the the two five indefinite minute delay? How do you how do you fill that productively with your partner? Uh, well, you know, like they got a pretty long warm up. They've been playing all day. Um, as we can see, Julian coming back on the court. But yeah, it definitely smart what Dylan and Ty are doing, uh, keeping active, um, hitting a lot of balls. Um, but yeah, it, it can definitely play a role um, if 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 you have a little delay. But um, I'm sure we'll see s still see some high quality pickleball here. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. I think it's going to have a lot of uh, hands battles, and um, I always like seeing um, you know someone playing with their significant other because it's something that I, I was never able to figure out. But kudos to Lauren and Julian. Thank you for sharing, Carlos. Shout out, City. We still love you. <laughs> uh, but it certainly is a dynamic in pickleball, even at the pro level and the tour level. It's it's quite good. You don't have to match, but Lauren and Julian tend to, uh, which is quite nice. But Julian's back here with his shirt and his paddle tech paddle. He's been trying out a few paddles in market, deciding on Vulcan ball. And we should get started here shortly. It would be really spicy given the level of hands. Lauren is quite an aggressive women's player. Tyra has the power and the defensive range. Dylan and Julian certainly know how to initiate. That is the current meta and strategy of mixed. Okay, game one starts. Lauren and Julian to serve. 
Thank you for everyone tuning in here to Grandstand in Lakeway. Unlucky bounce there for Dylan. The ball stands out. Interesting to note, Tyro's here on the left, Dylan on the right. Dylan, one of the best right siders in men's in mixed. Carlos, why do you think they've put Tyra on the left? Uh, you know, she's, you know, definitely can create a lot of offense. And I feel like Dylan is, like you said, arguably one of the best right-sided players. So I feel like he, maybe that's just a better matchup for them. Um, and, D I mean, D Dylan's just so good that he can he can create, uh, you know, great pickleball from, from either side. So... Um, wouldn't be surprised if we see them switch if it's not working, but um, I think they know what they're doing. Wow, nifty play there from Julian from start to finish. A great dig by Tyra there. It was impressive. Julian's drive, sneaky powerful, uses, usually uses unweighted paddles, just creates so much pressure with both the power and the dipping S speed there. Wow. Oh, there you go. On Diamo count at one. I was wondering what the over-under was for Andiamo's this, this match. Good cover there by Tyra. Julian trying to attack up the line. Interesting to note, Dylan and Tyra not unwinding the stack there. Dylan staying on the left. He'll do so again on this point. Never turns sails into the net, so small lead here for Julian and Lauren. And that sails out, so uncharacteristic, unforced there on the volley. Just missing wide there. Julian appealing to the refs. We'll Get see here on the replay. Uh, I think it was wide. I like the move though. Nice transition game there from Tyra, earning him that point. Down by one here. Good pressure there from Julian, not letting any of those resets to fall. Forehand put away, down and away. So earns them the side out. Don Stanley roaming in a red hat, making some slight adjustments. Point there for Julian and Lauren. A 
Aggressive drive sails into the net, so side out for Dylan and Tyra. Tyra still on the left. According to my co-commentator here, Carlos, that net cord was purely lucky. Nothing skillful about it. Well, I mean, I would say that was fortunate. Fortunate. Lucky. I would say lucky if, if you go for the, the wrong shot and, you know, and, and you clip the net to your favor. But a, a true man of nuance. <laughs> I think that makes sense. Wow, great defense wow. from Tyre and Dylan to earn, to keep that point going, but Julian being ultra aggressive, taking court at the forehand. Just sailing long there. Good example there from Dylan of your drive does not have to be the most powerful, but as long as it's dipping down and below that net, it creates an incredible amount of pressure. Good rip there. We've been blessed to see both Julian and Thomas Wilson here on grandstand with their lively forehands. Maybe a bit of an overplay there with the forehand drive. Nice for Dylan to keep him honest, having to get back to that backhand corner. Dylan all over that one. Dylan's hand so quick and with a let it up double O two, all he has to do is meet it at the right point of contact and that comes back onto you quite fast. Another ultra aggressive forehand. Not only hit hard, but hit at a great angle. Fast feet, Frazier couldn't even get to that. So, good side out there for Lauren and Julian. aggressive Arnold Dylan doing a good job to set up that point by returning to Julian's backhand not allowing that forehand drive pressure at all so good defensive stand overall Couple errors from Julian. Uh, he's trying to be aggressive, but sometimes you got to find that happy medium of what's what's too much. Good setup there by Lauren, targeting Tyre's backhand, who brings it to the middle where Julian's sitting with a lot of expectations of where that ball is coming. Okay, drive pressure leads to an unforced block out. 8-7-2, our third lead change of the game. All right, so that's gonna be a timeout for Julian and Lauren. Here in game one in Lakeway, we'll be back after this timeout.
make it to the game, it takes dedication and training. To stay in the game, it takes grit and stamina. To win the game, it takes strategy and skill. You keep focus on your approach, drop, and champion shots, and we'll help you stay focused on your strength, flexibility, speed, and downtime. Having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game, stay in the game, and win the game. Select Medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the PPA Tour. Welcome back, everyone, to game one here, a close battle. Tyron Dillon up 9-7 here on a small run, trying to close out game one in this round of 16. Great adjustment by Julian there, mid-air to get out of the way of his forehand to create some pressure. Earns the side out. Well, that's good stuff from Julian there. Very good stuff. On the demo count now at two. Actually four. Four? Four, yeah. Four. Some of them have been louder than others, but I, I believe it's four. Lauren hitting an out ball there, but a good hands battle leads them to a point to tie it all up. Oh. Just out there off the tape. They do unwind the stack this time. Ooh, good defense there from Lauren. But Dylan showing us all what you can do if you've never played tennis. Almost felt like a bait ball from Tyra. Yeah. She she wanted to scorp that on the on the one two. I like it. Lauren certainly aggressive with that forehand reaching. Yeah, Julian is everywhere right now. I mean, he's uh, when he's on, he looks like a slightly possessed madman, <laughs> but in a sure. but in a great talented way. Good pressure there from Tyra with the backhand, keeping Julian honest. Sorry, sorry. Julian crashing with that backhand punch, hits the net. Tyra's okay, but does earn them a point. And a game point is now on the paddle of Lawrence Stratman. Very important side out there, obviously, for, for Dylan and Tyra. They'll try to battle back. Oh, Tyra big there in the middle, just missing a bit wide. But love the play. Dylan's drive has been on point this game.
Wow. That's pro mixed doubles for everyone watching. That is the, the quality of play that you need to bring almost every point to make it through these rounds now. Wow, that was a great drop from Julian. Lauren couldn't quite convert there, but I, I like that from Julian. He, he's missed a couple of drives uh, after having success, but now he, uh, I think that was good shot selection there to go for that one. Athletic backhand, forehand, switching combo there from Tyra. So they get it back. They're still fighting here in game one. Ooh, nice. He gets great extension on the backhand punch. Yeah. All over it. All over it. Almost as many Andiamos as they have points. <laughs> that sets them up for game point here. We've had three side outs. This is their, I believe, their seventh chance at closing out game one. Another drop. Okay, good defense. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tyra can produce so much power. Um, Even her cut volleys feel yep. like a punch. Yep. Dylan with the wristy reach and flick. Maybe an out ball, but uh, as us amateurs like to say, it was worth hitting. Got to trust that Dylan's going to give you something pretty powerful. So I believe that's a timeout taken by Dylan and Tyra. As we get a side out, we'll be back shortly. Grandstand live stream here at the Elevation Athletic Club. 35 minutes west of downtown Austin. We're in a beautiful battle. Game one here. And that roll sails into the net. So failure to convert on six game points gives Tyra and Dylan a chance. Oh, what a move. <laughs> She'd been, I feel like Tyra's beating her on that side a couple times, but that was a good, good anticipation from, from Lauren. Oh, and that's a gift there from Dylan. Lauren had a gift to potentially close out game one and and miss. Dylan dumps that in the net. So 10-10 battle here. Julian again choosing the drop to allow his team to get into the kitchen. Applies good pressure there. Now they do have another game point. Tyra saying, get out of my way, Dylan. Great forehand crunch there. So eighth game point here for Julian and Lauren. And goes back to the drive. Dylan, uncharacteristic miss there. So game one goes to Lauren and Julian, 12-10. We'll be back 
for game number two here in this round of 16 match. The first Asian-inspired sparkling water made with real fruit and no added sugar. Unique and refreshing for the ultimate flavor smash. Find us at drinksanzo.com. At Pickleball Central, we're all about you. Your pickleball journey. We've got the largest selection of paddles, nets, shoes, balls, accessories, and more. The lowest prices guaranteed. Find it cheaper somewhere else. We'll match it. Don't love it? Send it back. Our world-class customer service. We'll take care of you. Plus, every dollar you spend earns you discounts on future orders. For all your pickleball needs, trust the experts. The experts. We're here for you. Pickleball Central. Welcome back to Lakeway, Texas. A chilly and windy day here on Friday, but any day you get to play pickleball, is a beautiful one. This is Ryan DeWidgen joined by my co-host Carlos Delora. And we're about to start game two of this mixed match. Dylan and Tyra to serve. Narrowly lost the first one. Great overhead there by Tyra. One of the more powerful overheads we have from the woman here on tour. Good leave there by Dylan. So a little, little jumpy from the start, but Julian's game is obviously ultra aggressive and mixed. Just needs to find that balance. That's the second missed serve from Tyra in this match. Uncharacteristic unforced that really does penalize you when the margins are so slim. She was on it. Wow. wow, clip it. That's what this yep. generation would say, clip it. An amazing what battle between point. both teams. Initial scrambling defense from Julian and Lauren set themselves up for, for five hands battles. Ooh, ball lands just out, but good. What seemed to be like a block turned into a, a backhand punch cut there from Julian, keeping Dylan honest, trying to challenge him up the line. Ooh. Tough ball to take. Yep. Tough ball to take from below the net in the transition area. So side out. Good finish there from Tyra. I've been very impressed ma all match long with Tyra's backhand dinks cross court. Yep. Really making Julian, who's got good lateral movement, work. For sure. Third shot just a bit wide. Tyra continuing to be on the left. They sometimes do unwind that when they're on the returning side. Mm 
Carlos, can you tell me a little bit about what we're seeing here with the defensive resets? They seem to be quite high, almost lobbish. Yeah. What's the what's the strategy there? I mean, uh, th those are pretty deep shots from from Julian there, but um, now Dylan and Tyra are against the wind, so it kind of gives you a little more freedom to swing freely and 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 know that you know uh, that that lob won't go deep. But sometimes, especially with conditions like this. Uh, balls up in the air are tough to judge, so uh, they're just relying on good defense there. Timeout called on the court. We'll return shortly after this timeout. Thank you for tuning in to the Austin O. Oh. back everyone to the Veolia Austin Open powered by Invited here on Grandstand. Honored to have you watching and listening to this mixed doubles match here between Dylan and Tyra, Lauren and Julian. Quick early lead here for Dylan and Frazier who lost game one but are on a roll. Good put away there from Lauren, but nice little bit of momentum there for Dylan and Tyra. More often than not, able to get to the kitchen, uh, doing a great job of, of playing points out there. See if they can withstand Julian and Lauren's aggressiveness. Yeah, that was Good. a great transition there from, from Julian. Yeah, any chance he gets to a uh, great offense, he'll he'll take it. Good, good volley there from Dylan, getting that ball down at the feet of Julian, who is creeping in through the transition. That's all That's great, Lauren Stratman. Yeah, that was a great play there. Great combo to set up her left side partner for the finish. Okay, short burst of Energy there. Dylan and Ty are still at the lead. Great job there from Tyra Black. Wow. No Andiamo there. Very yeah. surprising. Yeah, that's that's an Andiamo worth. For worth sure. There. I mean, if that's not on Diamond Worth, I don't know what is, but beautiful play. Lauren going for Tyra's forehand. She's doing a good job of sliding, really kind of get that back on a line. Like to see her try to keep her honest up the line a little bit. Could be even a little off speed.
quick side out forced there. Good pressure from Julian. The chat also mysteriously wondering why there was no Andiyama on that previous play, but we're gonna yep. we're gonna move on, move on from that. Of that point right there. Yeah. Making Julian really move left, cover that backhand on some dinks and volleys. Nice. Good hold there. Going right down Dylan's line. Why is it so important to sometimes hold some those balls? Well, it just gives you more options. Like, right, if, if, if you're good at holding the ball um, and, and, and you've shown that you have variety on, on, on w w whether it's your forehand or backhand, just gives you more options to go. And you can almost wait till the last second to see where their body weight's going and then go the opposite way. So, um, and, and Jillian's one of the best at that. He really does it from both sides. Can pick a few spots with it. Can see you leaning, see you cheating. Well, as noted prior, Tyra, Tyra's backhand just keeping Julian on his cross court. The lob lands in. Quick replay here of Dylan's down the line. Does seem to be out. Julian, a highly energetic, highly vocal person, but an honest, honest player, especially when it comes to line calls or, or great shots even against him. Tough. Level of difficulty, 9 out of 10. Yeah. Tyra sitting there with a powerful forehand. But again, we're commentating. They're playing. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she's really trying to work him to the left. Because um, Julian's just looking for that first ball in the middle that he can he can create offense with. But um, yeah, this is this is such a tight match. Oh my goodness. That is how quickly defense can turn into offense. One beautiful reset and an athletic partner. Yeah, it's so so impressive from Tyra there going from like, you know, hitting hard to then softening up the hands and being able to transition up to the kitchen line. That's uh that's not an easy thing to do. And timeout taken by Lauren and Julian. Dylan and Tyra up by two here in game two, trying to force a third. sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. Welcome back to game two. We've got a tight one here. 8-6. Game one almost as tight as you can dream it up. Eight game points. 
but Lauren and Julian were able to convert there. They're down now by two. Dylan Atira working a few patterns in their favor, trying to force a game three so they can advance here on Friday of pro mixed doubles. It'll be 8-6-2 on Tyra's, Tyra's paddle. That's a clip for Sandiamo, game two, but incredible defense there from Dylan and Tyra, just making them hit one more about six times, but big side out for Lauren and Julian. Oh, that's a nice ball from Tyra there. It's made it look a lot easier than it is. Ooh, good up, good setup there by Lauren. Certainly not expecting to win that, but Julian sitting forehand. That's they'll take that all day to have that look. That lob just not high enough in the defensive orientation. So good put away there by Julian. An unweighted paddle tech there. Classical lively arm. An untimely, uncharacteristic return of serve error. So three point lead here for Tyra and Dylan. Looked good, looked like a ball to attack for sure, right yeah, Carlos? Yeah, for sure. Just sometimes can be slightly wrong spot or the counter is just a bit better. And in that case, I believe that was that was it. It's surprising to see not Tyra not necessarily cheating over a little bit there with her kind of footwork and positioning. Julian hasn't gone hard cross court behind her. And she, well, wow. sh shut up, Ryan. She's there at the <laughs> forehand that time. <laughs> Okay, it's working off for Julian with that backhand roll in the middle. Wow, Tyra wow. going toe to toe with the pressure of Julian Arnold. Earns that side out for them. Looking to close out game two. Have two chances to do it. Aggressive play early in the point there. Yeah, I, I don't hate that yeah. idea. Just didn't execute it, but. And the hat comes off there for the gift that Julian just gave Dylan and Tyra. So that's game two. Dylan and Tyra coming back 11-8 to force game three here on Grandstand. We'll be back in just a moment.
defense. I don't care what a critic got to say, I got him picking up the pieces. Every time someone tells you they vacation in the same place every year, it should really make you wonder, why? Travel like you mean it with IHG Hotels and Resorts. Welcome back everyone to Grand Sin here in Lakeway, Texas at the Veolia Austin Open powered by Invited. We have a game three about to kick off here in the round of 16 and just a quick note, we are surrounded by other high-level matches, unfortunately not on stream, but we have some real battles going on between some of the top mixed teams. Over to the left of us, we've got Vivian David and Thomas Wilson battling Kate Fahey and Johnson Cole, the 47th seed, who have made their all way all the way through qualifiers. They're in game one at a 10-9 score. If we look out over there, we've also got the Johnsons, Georgia and JW taking on Etta and Tyler, but let's not distract from this important game three. Julian and Lauren with the serve, looking to start out on a run. Wow, what a first point. Maybe 40 hits here. Looked like a championship Sunday men's doubles <laughs> final. Yeah, uh, no, that, was lot a, that was a great first point. Setting the tone for what this very tight match has been. Tyra there ready for Julian. He's been no stranger to the, to the backhand flick through the middle. Probably is 50% on that, but didn't work out that time. Beautiful pressure there from Julian's forehand. Just the, the wristy flicks, creating topspin, getting that back and down at their feet. Dylan Tyre so athletic, so mobile, but not even able to budge up towards the kitchen there. A few wow. overhead gifts here. Yep. Not the first time we've seen a uh, shoulder high ball dumped into the net. That's a lot of power from Tyra there. Also change up the spot. She has been cutting kind of cross court with that to Julian, mm -hmm. hitting that to Lauren's back end that time. A muted Julian post point, but beautiful, beautiful pressure. If you're looking to play left, that's ideally what you'd want to be able to do more often than not. There we go, back to back, clip it. Forehand roll, ready with a backhand put away from high to low. Quick early lead here for Julian and Lauren. Okay, side out force there from Dylan and Tyra. Tyra is still on the left, has predominantly played there. Doing a great job of getting to that kitchen.
so quick on that f on, the, on the forehand speed up. Yep. It's, it's really hard to see coming. It's just, and even if you get it back, he's sitting there ready. If I'm Julian and Lauren, I love middle dinks right now to Dylan and Tyra. And if I'm Dylan and Tyra, I'm not putting, if I can, I'm not putting the ball to Julian's forehand right now. There we go. That's the pattern. In classic commentator fashion in game three. We figured <laughs> we figured it out once we saw they did it. Yeah. No, but I think here I'm um, I'm looking for Julian to keep trying to take over the court. He's done a great job here. Any chance he gets, he's all over it. Good setup there by Lauren. Reminds me of when the tackles and the guards make a huge hole for someone to run it in from the two yard line. The running backs pumps their chest, but needs to really acknowledge what came before them. For sure. <laughs> Lauren there going for the fifth shot drive. Always sounds like a good idea until you miss it in the net. Yeah, Julian just making it look easy. I think Tyra, yeah, it's a ball on. I think Tyra's got the, the countering and ability and the power. If Lauren wants to take a high baitish ball out of the air, I think that's probably an optimal strategy right now rather than trying to fend off Julian's backhand roll or, or forehand flick. But they're on the board, 1-4-2. Here in game three. Oh, I think Tyra may have been thrown off by yeah, Lauren's an out, out, call. out call. Unfortunate timing there. So they're on the board, one four. Exchange there from both teams. Tire contributing a majority of those counters, but nice put away there from Dylan. So important stand here for them. And they get it. So one four one back to Dylan and Tyra. Tyra on the left for the majority of this game. opting for the bounce call as opposed to out. I like it, very clear. Great pressure there. It's just hard to drop on him with this wind if, very and, hard. and the balls he's sending back to you. It's yeah. just hard to get that ball down to even advance at all. But point there from the pressure from Dylan. Sees that out, confirms Dylan's out call. So, mini run being created here. Cut short by a drive into the net. Join Lauren. Up by one, haven't scored in their last two side outs. Important that they get off to a good start here.
stuff there. Julian opting to go to Dylan on that backhand flick to start that battle as opposed to a little bit more center where Tyra's forehand has been covering it decently well. He'll unwind the stack here. Wow. wow, I thought that cross court attack was yeah. going to punish him instead yeah. it turns into a point. <laughs> Julian running about eight feet to do that catches maybe the net and Dylan. But anyways, uh, we'll switch at six here. And uh, Dylan and Tyra have some work to do with this three point deficit. Raw, the sweet spot of price and performance. All of the features you asked for, brought to you by the experts at Pickleball Central. Torre T700 Raw Carbon Technology creates lasting spin and a unique elongated shape amplifies power and broad court coverage. Experienced enhanced control with a hybrid core and the flexibility of an extended handle for two-handed shots. An octagonal grip with sealed edges guarantees comfort. Verse 6 Raw, your game elevated. Welcome back, everyone. We had a switch of sides here on grandstand. Julian Lauren with the 6-3 lead. Ferocious hands battles happening here. Two on force back to back there. Not how you draw it up, but still certainly within play. Great put away there from Tyra. Nearly hitting the corner of the kitchen. Beautiful down and away on a tight angle. Not the spot that time. Uh, Tyra covering with her forehand. So side out force by them. Let's see if they can work their way up. Julian's been doing a great job of keeping them back. Let's see if they can get up and start firing away. All right, Lauren goes back to the same spot there early in the point. Gets away with it. Good slide and crunch there by Julian. So we'll have two opportunities to try to creep towards 11 and close this match out. A uh, bit unlucky there. Tough to get. Julian will have the serve. Good pressure there, forcing the side out. So, bit of a stalemate here in the last few minutes. Good compact drive from Dylan. A little bit of core, but a lot of wrist, and then ensuing footwork just creates a lot of pressure. go Dylan Frazier drive brings them within three and another error there momentum can swing so quickly here margins are so small here at the pro level and as we know pickleball just rapid fire point by point by point so 
Uh, if your head's not on right or if you're not playing your best, it, it can it can slip. But they're still up here with a two-point lead, but Dylan and Ty are trying to force their way back. Kind of broke through that stalemate in, here in game three. Carlos, so you're not a meteorologist. You do appreciate Ron Burgundy, but what? Uh, how would you classify the the wind here? Uh, it's you know it's picked up a little bit, not really in one direction or the other. It's more a little swirly, so it's very hard to judge, especially in pickleball. But I think uh, everyone's made pretty good adjustments so far uh, from what we've seen. But um, yeah, definitely makes it you know when you're fighting the elements, not just your opponents, it makes it a lot tougher. So, but these professionals know how to do it. For sure. We've seen a lot of drive heavy thirds earning that kind of block and fifth shot drop reset. And we're back here. Hey, patience feeling out of each other there earns the pop up and put away. But good run there by Tyron Dillon to, to, to put the fight on. Certainly anybody's game still. Catches Julian in the corner a little bit. This is the grandstand court. Well, remember to, if you want to tune in for the championship court, go to pickleballtv.com. up a little bit high for Tyra's power. I think Lauren there would argue that she was on it, but had a lot of power. Too much to handle. So side out, 6-8. Another unforced there. So that brings them to within one. Previously down, 8-3. Done a great job of making balls. Good pressure at the net. Yeah. Lauren, Lauren saying, let's go. She knows how big of a, of a side out and defensive stop this can be right now. Return sails in the net. So we're all tied up here in game three. seemingly coming back onto this their own side so we're back with a side out learn Julian stuck at eight let's see if they can punch through that oh they're Julian trying to create pressure but might have tricked Lauren out of that uh, shot there. Oh, wow. Nifty, nifty reach in there from Tyra. Forces a side out, so no points for Julian and Lauren at 8-8. Eight, eight. We're here in game three battling. Whoever wins this and pulls it out is advancing to take on Vivian David and Thomas Wilson. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh wow. What a point. Julian trying to stay patient with some controlled offense there from the kitchen line, keeping them back. 
unbelievable foot speed from Dylan, but not able to convert on that last one. I like it. I think it definitely was there to punch, just left it a little higher, went for a little too much. So, okay, I think this is ninth time at eight. Lauren Julian trying to, trying to break through. Quite a big crowd here, probably four or five rows deep on either side. Tyra ready with that forehand in the middle. Lauren doing a great job of keeping Dylan honest with some very pressure fills cross court dinks, yeah. but again, they can't do it. So back on Dylan's paddle. Good drives, but met with, with Julian's blocks. Tyra has a chance to get them to nine. What a shot from Lauren there. That's a clean winner down the line. Froze Tyra a little bit, held it as held Carlos, it. Coach Carlos was describing earlier in the match. The power of holding that ball and making a decision at the last second. Tyra not sure what to do getting out of the way, but also hitting that. Credit to her, credit is due though. Julian bringing that pressure here to get them to nine. Been a long time coming. Let's see if they can use that to their advantage. Okay, match point. Match point here for Julian and Lauren. We'll have one more opportunity to put this one away. Turning defense into offense, they squeak it out. So Julian Arnold and Lauren Trevin take Game three, 11 8. They'll be advancing to the quarterfinals to take on Vivian David and Thomas Wilson. That will be an Austin filled match, both with friends, family, and talent. So, uh, props to them for grinding through this th three setter. Thank you, everyone, for tuning on to the Grandstand stream. We will also be live on pickleballtv.com for the Humana Championship Court. to the game it takes dedication and training to stay in the game it takes grit and stamina to win the game it takes strategy and skill you keep focus on your approach drop and champion shots and we'll help you stay focused on your strength flexibility speed and downtime having a sports medicine partner in your court is key to helping you make it to the game stay in the game and win the game select medical is proud to be the exclusive provider of physical therapy of the ppa tour
Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Big it up, big it up. Yeah. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Who knew I would make it this far? They had it, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah. Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picked another piece. Ever notice how seniors and health insurance commercials all look the same? Because all of these companies see us the same. But not Humana. They see me. Humana. Guaranteed rate, we understand that life is about more than mortgages. Our aim is to empower you on your holistic journey to well being and longevity by helping you achieve your financial and personal goals. Our new, completely free rate app focuses on community, nutrition, and exercise, as well as offering a variety of financial tips and tools. The rate app was built to support your mind, body, and spirit, helping to simplify your life and reduce your stress. Download the Rate app and start living your best life. This is what you're waiting for. This is Invited. We take pride in creating vibrant communities where everyone is welcome. Home to new golfers and major champions. Host to historic professional tournaments and cherished family celebrations. Come join our community of more than 200 clubs. Invited, where you belong. For many of us, we just charge ahead because planning for your future takes time. And right now, thinking about your financial future takes on new meaning. At Baird, our financial advisors have guided individuals and families to achieve their goals through every crisis evolution and groundbreaking idea for over 100 years. That's the difference between thinking you're ready for what lies ahead and knowing you've planned for it. Now that's different. Discover the Baird difference. Follow your vibe. Busy. Flavor for every vibe. Sip, surf, and slam with Sanzo, the first Asian-inspired sparkling water made with real fruit and no added sugar. Unique and refreshing for the ultimate flavor smash. Find us at drinksanzo.com. Typical insurance for every senior. I'm not actually a stereotypical senior. I just play one in cheesy health insurance commercials. In real life, I have Humana because they see me. Listen to what I need. It's refreshing. Humana.
The Roche-Posay sunscreen blocks up to 98% of UVB rays and helps prevent visible sun damage. The only sunscreen with Cellox Shield UVA UVB protection plus antioxidants. La Roche-Posay, the official sunscreen of the Professional Pickleball Association. schedule reward yourself and girls whenever stay or go when you wanna and more is on the way so when you're ready to go go with heart go with Southwest hello everyone greetings from the Veolia Austin open powered by invited thank you for tuning into the grandstand stream we have an amazing mix match here coming up on this Friday afternoon between Brooke Buckner and Colin Schick against Gabriel Tardio and Megan Dazan. We've had some great matches here, go to two and three games apiece uh, between some of the best mixed teams in the world. Uh, we'll get started shortly. Colin Schick and Brooke Buckner coming off a big win and a big upset, taking down Jack Sock and Catherine Parento just moments ago. Uh, in two games, so uh, the 26 seed coming in here with a, a bit of fresh momentum. Uh, Jack Sock and Catherine, definitely one of the higher powered teams here, getting to the semifinals of mixed in the, the recent tour events. Um, that's got to be a big win and confidence boost for them. Obviously shows that they can make a lot of balls, bring pressure, relieve pressure, and, and ultimately win uh, on, under the gun. So uh, they'll be taking on Gabe Tardio and Megan Dazan. Megan, one of the stronger women's players in mixed. Gabe, the Bolivian blaster, uh, using his height and his wristiness uh, to create so much pressure in both men's and mixed. He'll be paired up on the left side with Megan. Getting started here shortly in this round of 16 game. One interesting thing to note, Megan and Gabe have finished a few hours ago. They finished their previous round uh, a three-game grinder against Eric Baye and Rihanna Valdez so they're they're coming off a large break Brooke and Colin coming off some a fresh big upset here we go I'm Ryan DeWidgen, and I'm joined here by Carlos Delora. We'll be taking you through this match. Quick side out there, so a bit of a choppy start for both teams, but certainly going to be an exciting 30 to 45 minutes. All right, the rate we saw some of the games go in Minnesota, it could be an hour and a half, so I actually don't want to make any claims about that. in and around the kitchen there. Very patient by both teams, trying to find that right ball. Can take a lot of time to get a ball that is reasonable to attack, that you feel confident about. Ooh, athleticism by Schick there. We've seen it in the singles court, but he's bringing it to mixed, uh, especially mixed. And uh, any short returns will be penalized by both teams here. Ooh. 
as we pointed out there. So uh, tough of these windy conditions. I believe Megan and Gabe are facing into the wind despite the, the wind screens, but it's it's really tough to keep this ball down and keep it deep. Comparing to the Minnesota one last weekend, how do you think these conditions are different? Court, court surface, everything. Certainly a lot more variables with the wind. It's a bit chilly, so uh, I believe the players are saying the ball is playing a bit faster. Um, it's not as soft as it would be. Great counter there from Colin. Um, in terms of court, uh, these are beautiful courts here at the Elevated Athletic Club. Uh, traditional concrete acrylic paint, so uh, it should be kind of the normal bounce you'd expect on any tour event. I know Minnesota is a bit softer indoors uh, with that cushion. Megan just making an adjustment to give her as much baseline room as she can. I think it's really the biggest factor today besides the wind is, is probably going to be the, the cadence of play. Some of these teams have been sitting for a few hours. Others are fresh within the last 20 minutes. Uh, we've had some thunderstorms and rain. So it's been a little bit of a waiting game for some of these pro partnerships. Wow, great trigger pull there by Brooke. Alpha Percy is helping deliver a lot of punch with a quick wrist snap. So in a blink of an eye, I should, in a blink of an eye, Colin and Brooke out to a 7-0 lead here on Grandstand. We'll return shortly after this timeout. Introducing Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. They're ultra lightweight and responsive for incredible speed. They have Goodyear rubber outsoles with a specialized pickleball design for increased side-to-side -side stability and agility. Plus, they feature shock-absorbing foam and Skechers' famous relaxed-fit design for incredible comfort game after game. Conquer the court in comfort. Skechers Pickleball, the official footwear of the Carvana PPA Tour. Okay, we're back after the timeout called by Gabe and Megan. They're down early down big 0 7 and some on court camera adjustments are being made but we're we're back here to play calling a serve And that dink goes into the net. So Colin being ultra aggressive on the thirds, Carlos, following that up with volleys. Seems to be working for them. And unforced errors abound on Gabe and Megan's side in the kitchen. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we're all aware of Colin's uh, early success in singles. Um, seems to translate quicker to mixed doubles, and he's really taking that aggressive play, taking the middle away and being very athletic. That ball lands just wide, just wide, but good combo there from Gabe. With his length and his footwork and, and shiftiness, he's gonna have to take a little bit more here and, and match Colin. Colin there with the... <laughs> Uh, the commentator hindrance. We were yeah. distra distracted, <laughs> yeah, distracted by the, by the jukes, but they're on the board. Gabe and Megan are. Good pressure there from Colin, yielding that power air with might. So they're in the side out in game one.
Nice put away there from Megan. Strong overhead power from her, consistent in the women's and the mixed game. Gabe and Megan deciding to change it up here and not unwind the stack. So Gabe will be on the right-hand side, faced up against Colin. Megan telling herself to get big, keeping that forehand out in front of her. So important in these fast exchanges. Maybe the fifth dink into the net from Megan there, so not really feeling comfortable on the left or right-hand side. 10-1-2, game point here for Colin and Brooke. On a roll today, taking down Jack Sock and Catherine Parento in the prior match. Good ball there from Dazan, so anything can happen. Face a slight uphill battle at 110. Gabe back to the left. Bit of an overcook on the ATV, but it's certainly there. But a little bit of momentum. A little bit of momentum. On, on Gabe's drive, I would like to see him try to potentially follow that up, crashing on his own. He's got the length. Just needs to move those feet. And Colin with a veteran move. Veteran move. Looking for the bar. Looking for the bar. On an early Friday afternoon. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, like you said, a little momentum here to see if they can get something else going. Whether it's this game or just trying to take some positives into the next one. Oh, it's okay. But it's definitely uh, the right play. Yeah. Like you were saying, Gabe, try to get a little bigger. Um, t you know, taking advantage of his own offense, but just a little bit unlucky there. So game point back on Brooks Paddle. Good pressure there by Gabe and Megan, both of them combining for that one. Gabe staying on the right-hand side, not deciding to unwind the stack here. Okay, good side out for them. They're in play at 3-10. Is that JW? Oh, that was Gabe doing the, the push shovel <laughs> push shovel drop there. Narrowly misses. Wow, I thought Megan had Colin. Yeah. That was impressive from Colin. Good hands. What, what, stu low. what stood out there about Colin's kind of reaction? The yeah, he, he oh. made a very athletic adjustment there. Um, expecting that ball to come to the forehand. Not really a scorpion, but very good forehand defense there. For sure. Hands exchanges sometimes almost more about the body than they are the hands. Got to have to have both in working in unison. And Megan with the unforced dink there, so not happy about that, but I know two people that are quite happy here rolling in game one. We've got Colin Schick and Brooke Buckner taking down Gabe and Megan. We'll be back with game two here on Grandstand. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you shortly.
Pickleball Central, we're all about you. Your pickleball journey. We've got the largest selection of paddles, nets, shoes, balls, accessories, and more. The lowest prices guaranteed. Find it cheaper somewhere else. We'll match it. Don't love it? Send it back. Our world-class customer service. We'll take care of you. Plus, every dollar you spend earns you discounts on future orders. For all your pickleball needs, trust the experts. The experts. We're here for you. Pickleball Central. Welcome back to Grandstand here in game two. Megan and Gabe trying to turn this around. Uncharacteristically unforced error filled game in, in game one. That was a quick one with Colin and Brooke taking it 11 3. So they'll have a chance here to battle back, potentially force game three to advance to the quarterfinals. Great attack there from Brooke. Can't, can't say I saw that coming at all, but a good exchange there from Megan, getting those dinks down into the kitchen. She struggled in game one, but really nifty from Brooke to, to bag Tardio. Brooke and Colin filled with all the confidence you can in a uh, pro draw, taking down Catherine Parento and Jack Sock earlier storming out the gates with that game one result as well so yeah really important for Megan and Gabe here to get some points on the board early uh, not just the fact that they lost the first game but but the way they lost it just with the unforced errors so for the confidence and the momentum of this match the Colin wristiness when he burst down on the scene in singles obviously it was his footwork and and uh, athleticism, but that wristiness to be able to pull the trigger is, is really showing its power in mixed and in men's. point there some good dinks good hand speed really targeting the Colin backhand wonder if they think that's a weakness or just a little bit lower of a threat than kind of Brooke right now out of the air or dinking wise but that ball lands in beautiful wristy wristy roll there from Gabe not recommend it to anyone below 5-0, but uh, certainly a powerful shot that he has in his bag. Megan being aggressive, she's heads up against Colin, but Colin doing a good job of fending off those attacks and not even giving her a ball back, but one that's on a line and down at her, making her kind of hit back up at it. So so one, two, one here. Nice put away there from Dazan. Okay, looking at the line, unlucky bounce. It's the way of the, the way the game goes with the wiffle ball in outdoor conditions. Two one one, Dazan and Gabe. Uh, good offense there from Gabe. I'm really looking for him to do a lot more, uh, taking over that middle. I feel like we we've seen what Gabe can do. 
as of late in some good tournament runs. I think it's his time here to really take charge on the court. How is he listening to you while playing? That's I crazy. No that is crazy. The chat agreeing vehemently <laughs> with you that this is what Gabe should do, especially as Dazan is a little shaky in and around the kitchen here. Let's Gabe should be as big as he can be. Always a balance, but worth trying the other end of the spectrum right now. Not sure why Megan's going for attacks out of the air. Colin is doing a great job defending and punishing those, so let's see if they can adjust. Unlucky bounce there. No one, Megan. No one in pro has ever missed a return. It's always just an unlucky bounce. It's always an unlucky bounce, that's true. It's always wind, hit the line or something, but. Good leave there from Gabe, getting that 6-2 frame out of the way. Okay, Brooke and Colin not bringing the pressure they did in game one. Rate of making balls has decreased quite a bit, giving Megan and Gabe a little bit of momentum, although they're not necessarily firing on all cylinders just yet. It's okay. We're supporting all players here. We want Gabe, we want Gabe to create, we want Colin to create, we want Megan to dink. Brook to attack. Like in that one, Megan, uh, that was a great dig from Megan. Uh, Gabe just could have shown a little bit more presence there in the middle. Um, sometimes it could be taking a little bit of risk, but at this point of the match, better to do that than be too passive. Oh, Brooke almost got that back, yeah. but Chick with three great sliding backhand counters. You don't see that from the left-hand side too much. He's doing a great job of adjusting cat-like reflexes. That set up by Colin that gave on skates a bit, but that's a side out. So 4 2 back to Gabe and Megan. Unlucky bounce. Can't quite see it on the stream, but we did start this game with a brand new ball. It is quite shiny, so not sure if it's catching some of that line paint. Good counters from Brooke. Second. Bag. Body shot, yeah, bag from oh, we Brooke. We call that a bag. Oh, we do? Yeah, Sorry. The, yeah new generation. Come pickleball. on, Carlos. Little bit ambitious there, but I like where his mind's at, trying to be a little bit more aggressive. I mean, I'm just jealous of the length he has. I it's, know. That's why he can choke up on the paddle a good inch, because he's Probably the ideal pickleball frame as this game develops. Good counters there from Megan, keeping them back. So, Colin and Brooke temporarily paused at two. They get one there, so they're off two. On to three here in game two. Two, two errors there bring them back up to four. Energy in the game feels a little bit low for both teams. It's a, it's an odd vibe. They came out of the gate swinging. It's a little bit more of a stalemate. Could leave. 
wind not helping on that one for Collins' drive. Okay, Megan gets Colin there in the chicken wing area. I wonder if she's going to go down the line later because he's he's prematurely sliding to that kind of right right shoulder backhand block spot. But two point lead here for them. Oh, wow. wow. Good defense to even get some of those balls back, but not ideal overheads from Colin. Landing a bit or a bit short in the court, giving them a chance. Again, I'm not complaining, just stating that maybe shouldn't even have gone three. Right, see, if so you, see, Carlos, if you hit short overheads, then you maybe miss a dink. Yep. Might, there might be some correlation to that. I'm not sure about it, but you might be onto something. There well, she there goes go. down the there line. You go. Yeah, keep keeping him honest. Good pressure there created initially by Gabe. So 8 4 here. Good pressure from Gabe stepping up aggressively, so. 9-4. Timeout from Brooke and Colin here. Trying to slow them down a little bit. Gabe and, Me Gabe and Megan trying to get this to 11 so they can force game three to advance to the quarterfinals. We'll see you back here in Lakeway in just a sec. The Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited, is presented by Veolia, the official sustainability partner of the PPA Tour. By Invited Clubs, where you belong. By Deep Eddy Vodka, dive in. By Stratosphere Gin, gin elevated to new heights. By Carvana, serving happiness all season long. And by Baird, the official wealth management partner of the PPA Tour. Welcome back to Elevation Athletic Club here, 30 minutes west of downtown Austin, Texas. We have a beautiful day. It's shaped up to the rain is held off. There you go better ding serve from Megan, for sure. Her and Brooke have exchanged quite a few good cross-court dinks, but Megan getting the better of her there. Game point. Ooh, great placement there by Brooke, keeping Gabe honest, who's been cheating a little bit towards that middle. Important side out for them. Oh, wow. Defense to offense real quick there from Colin. Not the best resets, but good enough for him to feel confident advancing in and putting that volley away. Good leave. Brooks saw that opening, but uh, and I we, we like to take, but it uh, just sails a little bit long. So game point back on Megan's paddle. Ooh, no look by Colin. And that's not enough. So Gabe Tardio, Megan Dazan winning game two will force this to a game three. 
here on the grandstand. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And we've got some exciting action coming back shortly. Imagine that becoming energy producers would be as easy as biting into an apple. Imagine water that is pure and inexhaustible, recycled and accessible everywhere in the world. Imagine, imagine the world of tomorrow, sustainable and desirable. Deolia. Welcome back everyone to game three. We're about to kick it off here. Serve is on the paddle of Brooke and Colin who cruised through game one. I think that may have been a nine point game filled with a bunch of unforced errors. Great pressure by them, but they're looking here to equal to advance with a game three win. Gabe and Megan really settled in there, especially in and around the kitchen. That sails long, so keys to the game here. Carlos, what, what are the two patterns that we may be looking out for? I think on Megan's side, um, she's been dinking better and then really finding the way to keep Colin honest. She's neutralized him pretty well. Megan's sitting on that forehand. <laughs> That's a confidence booster for sure. They'll take it right out the gate. Okay. Everyone gets a forehand right now. So I think Colin and Brooks certainly need to be a little bit more patient. On those patient points, they were, they were forcing a lot more, giving us some better balls to attack. Catches calling off guard, so fast and furious three points here for, for Gabe and Megan. Good put away power there from Colin. Megan playing with a little bit more pep in her step. I think a certainly has found a lot more confidence after game two's performance around the soft stuff. Waiting for a call. I don't know if Gabe and Megan are confident enough. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Gave it to him. Yeah, wow. the, out, the out call didn't look very confident. Yeah. Um, that lob retrieval started out in an athletic scrambling point. Collins desperation two-hander lands in. So that's the jolt you'd want in a clinching game three. Brooke Buckner poaching there at the two-hander. Catches Gabe off guard, so good stringing here. That forehand dink into the net, so we're all tied up at three very quickly. The wind seems to have picked up quite a bit. But that's not going to stop these players from trying to make a lot of balls and get another eight points. Another opportunity for Colin and Brooke to take the lead. Just 
missing that return long there. Just like that, they get a one point lead here. Oh, and we feel the pain that Gabe and Megan have right now. That was the clearest leave of all time, but somehow lands in. Maybe the gust of wind on yeah. Chick's side. He's smiling. Um, two point lead now. Okay, side out force there. Uh, the winner of this game and match will go on to the quarterfinals to take on a very powerful team in Diescu and Bright. Oh. Megan wants a piece of Colin. <laughs> She's not afraid to go to that kind of inner right hip chicken wing spot, but he's done a great job of fending off those attacks. Second missed Ernie there from Gabe. Again, don't hate it. He's got the length, he's got the skill, but in is better than perfect. That ball skidded off the back line. Colin was sent into the into the fence windscreen. Brooke almost had the poach. That would have been an incredible kind of curveball. Casual drive sails out, so gave him Megan escape with no points against them. Oh, Gabe pulls that wide. He, that's the one you want, but great hands battle there from both teams. What a setup initiated there by Megan. Okay, Buckner, Buckner, excuse me, sends that into the net. The Gabe and Gabe and Megan don't want anything to do with Brooke, really. They, they are very happy to drop and dink, drop and dink to, to Collins' backhand. Wow, that's a clip. Colin coming back from 29 Wonder feet, effort. slamming into the baseline wall again. Uh, he seems to be okay. Scrambling defense. Really adm admirable how hard he's going out here. Beautiful reach in on the inside out by Gabe there. So we'll switch sides. Here at six, Gabe and Megan finding their groove here in game three to try to fight to the quarterfinals. We're back here in a tight game three on grandstand in this mixed match. Brooke and Colin fighting. There's been some runs of two or three points here apiece, so tight, tight margins. Unlucky neck cord, no bar. 
but can't quite get that. So have another chance to equalize. Quick side out, giving Megan back with the lead. Trying to drive this to 11. Oh, that's a clip. Fast hands from all four players getting involved there. Brooke really being, bringing the power, but Gabe and Megan coming out on top there. Colin seemingly what he wanted on the counter, but Megan too hard and too, too there. Okay. All right, so 9-5 lead here. Shocked to not have seen a timeout yet. Maybe to slow him down, but. Dizon taking Schick to town here in game three. That right hip pattern really, really working for her and Gabe. They have match point on their paddle and two chances to clinch it. Good defense and pressure there by Brooke. She's been playing great defense throughout this whole match. Oh, okay. It's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Good point there by Colin helping them fight back here. Back has been against the wall a few times for Colin Schick. He's bringing it right now. Sure, timeout called by Gabe and Megan, so an important break here to try to bust up this run that Brooke and Colin are bringing. We'll be back. We'll be back after this match with another match. We'll have the Johnsons taking on Jesse Irvin and Christian Alshon. So Grandstand has been packed today with high performance talent. You can also find us at pickleballtv.com to watch Humana Championship Court. But some longer runs starting to be created by each team here. They're trying to stop the bleeding, force some side outs. Megan's dinking in around the kitchen has picked up dramatically. She's attacking Colin quite a bit, but Colin Schick doing Schick things with Crash and Bash, taking over that middle. <laughs> Not how you draw up the timeout with an unforced like that, but they've, s they've still got a two-point lead here, but critical, they start making balls. <laughs> oh. oh, she had it. Great setup. She's <laughs> She's been earning the freedom to go up the line as Colin cheats towards that center, but that's the ball she wants. But a one-point game here now. A gift there for Gabe and Megan, who need everything they can right now to try to clinch game three in this match. But Rook and Colin showing a lot of fight. Yeah. 
Wow, way to be ready there, Gabe. But Brooke Buckner, half volley resets, some of the best I've seen yeah. in on the women's side in mix. She is just low and ready, Vivian David-esque. But more importantly, we've got match point here. Oh, no, we'll do it. What a way to end it there with the <laughs> light cord, but great, great three game battle between these two teams. Gabe and Megan smiling as as you should. But good day for Colin and Brooke as they again took down Jack Sock and Catherine Parento, but they lose here in game three. Grandstand is is packed with talent. Well, you've got Georgia and J.W. Johnson, the, the brother sister duo taking on Jesse Irvin and Christian Alshon. So Stay tuned for the third and the fifth seed coming back here on the stream. Thank you.
Welcome everybody back to the grandstand stream here at the Austin Veolia Open powered by Invited. We're here just west of Austin, Texas in Lakeway on a fun, chilly and windy day here for a quarterfinal match between the third seed of JW and Georgia Johnson taking on the fifth seed of Jesse Irvin and Christian Alshon. I'm Ryan DeWidgen, joined here by Carlos Delora. Jesse Irvin and Christian Alshon coming through with uh, a bit more of a rigorous path. They've, they took down two teams in three game matches. Uh, most recently, Andrea Coop and Zane Navratil, they took to a third game 11-7. Prior to that, they had to take Carson Klinger down and Judith Castillo in three. Georgia and JW cruising a little bit as they do in these earlier rounds, but these rounds are certainly no small feat. It is a testament to their talent, to their hand speed, to their partnership. So uh, we're about to get started here in this quarterfinal matchup. Um, the winner of this will advance to take on the winner of Anna Lee Waters and Ben Johns, who are currently playing Hayden Patrickin and Leah Jansen on Humana Championship Court. But we're going to be staying focused on the Johnsons versus Irvin and Alshon. Carlos, any notes? What comes to mind when you see these these players on court or this matchup? Well, I would f say the first thing, we know what J-Dub and Georgia can do. Unreal hand speed and obviously chemistry being brother and sister. But I'm um, really interested to see the Alshon-Irvine combination, um, seeing what Christian can do, getting big in the middle, such a great athlete. And then Jesse just solid as always, so it should be a great match. Well said, and here we go. First serve from Jesse. Nice little put away there by J Dub with that teal bright blue Franklin paddle of his. Probably weighted up to maybe nine two. That drive sails out. Oh. Just wide there from J Dub. Still zero zero here. Incredible defense there by Jesse Irvin. Also applying the pressure, making j -Dub hit a really beautiful backhand stab. First point for Jesse and Christian. They're all smiles right now. I, I like it. There are a little confusion there on who should have taken that middle ball, but uh, still figuring some things out here early in the match. Okay, quick, quick, fast start here for Jesse and Christian. Good pressure there from Georgia. Dipping hybrid drive drop from Alshon catches the tape, makes that much even, that much harder. But four point lead here. Good reach in from Christian. Georgia sent two to Christian's kind of forehand. Got to get it down, or at least be challenging with it. Otherwise, he's gonna eat that up. Quick timeout here by the Johnsons. Alson and Jesse cruising, but uh, we'll take take a quick break in this timeout.
Welcome back to Elevation Athletic Club here in this quarterfinal match, game one. A 6-0 lead. Johnson's a little up and down. Strong reach in there from Jesse. Just hits the tape. She wanted that. She's showing a lot of energy right now. Not sure if they're coming off a kind of a, a fun win or a nice rest break, but they are hungry right out the gate. Good combo and set up there from Georgia. Not able to complete the backhand counter, but quick side out again, forced by Jesse and Christian. Georgia looking a little bit rattled here. That's probably their third dink into the net. Has had two volleys going in the net. Tough start for the sibling duo. Some unreal defense there from the only person to have ever won the Challenger and the Premier MLP title, but. Christian Alshon. Not enough. Good shot there on the side out. So back in Georgia's hands, trying to get that first point and get the mojo going. And again, another little confusion there in the middle. Um, Seem to be a little frustrated, or as, as frustrated as they can look. They're very calm on the court, but see if they can get something going here. Jesse and Christian on opposite sides for this point. J-Dub's forehand seems to be pretty good, Carlos. <laughs> good observation. There we go. Okay. And thank you for that good observation. <laughs> it, it continues to build. A little too easy there for J-Dub in the middle, taking that out of there. Reach in, goes in the net there. J-Dub's backhand and forehand drops. Just simple does, is not easy, but simple is simple. And he just, it's, it's a really a, a sight to see. Great defense from Jesse and Christian. Just not enough, but incredibly athletic. And they're low. They're low, and they're waiting for the next ball. OK, another quick side out forced by the Johnsons. Let's see if they can get another two or three here. what he's got to do with that unbelievable forehand that he has. Just making that look easy. Jesse and Christian returning almost every serve to, to J-Dub, not wanting him to potentially poach. He's, he's taking every third right now. 
good hands battle there by Georgia. Just at a disadvantage throughout that as she had to hit it up on it quite a bit. Nice athletic play there by Christian. Jesse so steady on the right. Can do those kind of push, push shovel dinks, cross court for days. Good by Georgia, putting that down and away. But the digs, the digs from Alshon and Irvin have been very impressive. That dink goes into the net. So I think uh, Jesse and Christian certainly know the strategy when they're at the kitchen right now. Christian winning that. Hands battle with J-Dub. They've got game point here in game one. Good forehand snap there. So Christian and Jesse roll in game one, 11-3. They came out with a 7-0 lead. Uh, we'll be back here for game two of this quarterfinal matchup. Welcome back, everybody, to Grandstand, where game number two of this quarterfinal matchup is about to begin. Christian, Alshon, and Jesse Irvin rolling, making balls, bringing pressure, taking advantage of some unforced errors by J-Dub and Georgia. Important start here for Georgia. Man, those paddle tech paddles. We saw Julian Arnold yielding one, and Christian now, obviously a signed player. They're, they are pop popping. Good leave there from Georgia. Good lead from Alshon. After this, uh, we'll have another quarterfinal match of Andre Diescu and Anna Bright, the four seed, taking on Gabe Tardio and Megan Dizon. Tardio and Dizon previously on stream here, so they'll return to a familiar court to take that powerful South Florida duo on. Ooh, fist, fist bump and yell there from Jesse. Well earned. She catches J Dub kind of sitting, sitting heavy.
Jesse and Christian, their microscope is focused solely on Georgia. They have not relented at all. Nice drop there from Christian. Not all drops are the same. That that was filled with a bunch of pressure, dipping out to J-Dub's backhand. So timeout taken by the Johnsons. They'll consult their mom and pro Julie Johnson. But we'll be back here in game two in Lakeway. Alshon using that length and lateral movement, just trying to take as many forehands as he can off the bounce out of the air. 5-0 lead, very similar story to how game one shaped up. Yeah, they're just keeping the momentum going. Johnson's haven't quite settled in and it's getting pretty late in the match, so. Good battle there from Georgia. Okay, 0 6 trying to get on the board, trying to get rolling. Trying to advance here on Friday to a semifinal. Incredible handle by Jesse. Okay, so on the board, 1 6. Great job there by Georgia, ready for Alshon to bring a forehand back her way, sitting there with the two-hander. So should be expecting more of the same through the rest of this match. And that dink was going to provide a nice ATP there for Jesse. She clinks it off. The Selkirk net post. That's a timeout. So three-point run there by the Johnsons. Jesse and Christian looking to regroup just a bit as they have a three-point lead here in game two. It's fun to look around. Oh, okay. Nice. So we're back here from the timeout. Oh, Just missed it short there. So both makeable ATPs missed by each team. Georgia bringing the fire there. Not afraid to go, Christian. She's one of the, the better women who has 
equipped to take on the speed and power of the man's kind of hands uh, across the net. That's slight scoring adjustment here. They're they're only down by two now. Four six two. Confusion there. I think Alshon thought that ball was clearly out, but it was or in, but it was ruled out. Asking for confirmation here. I think that's a point that's going to be awarded to the Johnsons. He kind of took the play off as Georgia fell back into that disgusting tennis net. Alshon a little bit overextended there, but J Dub takes that dink in that. But big for the Johnsons there on that run. They've come within one. That ball catching the center line, it seems. So unforced error there on the return. Nice return there from Georgia. Georgia wow. Georgia is dialed right now. <laughs> yeah, she is. She definitely uh you can tell her confidence level went up from the first game and has settled in nicely. What do you need to do to <laughs> get a point or a side out here? It's it's incredible. Good outstretched reset there by Jesse, but Johnsons are back hunting to try to tie this up. They'll take it. They'll certainly take that one. So they're down by one now. 6-7-1 in game two of this quarterfinal grandstand match. Ambitious back and drive from that position from J-Dub. I'd like to see you play him one-on-one. -on -one. Who? J-Dub. I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Nifty ball there by Georgia. Alshon cheating down the line. She recognizes it, takes that down the middle. Beautiful, beautiful shot. So all tied up here at 7-7. Seven, seven. The, the, the Georgia bounce is in effect. She's hopping, she's ready to go. What a get. Okay, reach in, flick there, pays off. Another timeout called by Alshon and Irvin as it gets a little away from them. Uh, Johnson's up 8-7 now after being down 6-0. What a battle they've started to bring. Georgia just unrelenting and challenging Alshon, huh? Yeah, no, she uh, doing a great job. Not scared to go at him, getting hands battles and also keeping him honest. Uh, it's really really neutralized Alshon from game one to game two. So, um, yeah, great stuff from the Johnsons. Good adjustments, and uh, that's not a team you want to keep keep in the game because uh, we, we all know what they can do. For sure. We've got a stacked tournament here on the PPA Tour here in Austin, the Velia Open, powered by Invited. It's just... It's a it's a gauntlet every round, and with these conditions and the, the ebb and flow of everyone's game, it, it really is a a challenge every hour. Uh, 
I don't know how J-Dub got that one, but J-Dub does J-Dub things. That's a very skilled bailout, we'll say. Yeah, very skilled. Flexes there from Georgia to get that one back, but it's not able to follow up on the second one. So we're at 7 9 here. in there from Alshon. That did not register as a terribly bad ball, but Alshon, aggressive and lengthy, just able to a forehand flick that back left. Oh, I think Alshon's a little bit in her head there, trying to keep him honest, but did a little too much. So all square at 9-9. Nine, nine. Christian and Jesse trying to seal this in two games. Alshon. Looking to the skies. Looking to the skies, yeah. Great rip there from J Dub, but I mean, amazing resets, but all, like kind of offensive resets there by Alshon to extend the point. But 9 9 Johnson's. They're back. Just the way the wind is kind of swirling around, it's so hard to judge on, you know, how much room you have for those third shot drops, but Georgia not able to make that one. Oh no. A replay of serve leads to a fault. So we're back at 9-9, no damage by either team. Good defense all match long by Jesse, but J-Dub's forehand, you can only ward off so many times. That sails long. So we've got match point here in this grandstand quarterfinal. And that's a decisive finish to game two. Uh, Jesse Irvin and Christian Alshon advance to the semifinals. They'll be taking on a familiar partnership of Annalie Waters and Ben Johns later today. Uh, thank you for tuning in to Grandstand. We've got another great quarterfinal matchup happening here on this court and stream. We've got Diescu and Bright taking on Tardio and Dizon. We'll see you back here at the Viola Austin Open shortly.
The Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited, is presented by Fila. To play like a pro, you need to dress like one. By Pickleball Central, your trusted pickleball experts. By Rain, clean energy for everybody. By Select Medical, the exclusive physical therapy partner of the PPA Tour. By Selkirk, we are Pickleball. By Vizzy, a flavor for every vibe. And by Skechers, conquer the court in comfort. Welcome back, everyone, to the Grandstand Court here at the Veolia Austin Open, powered by Invited. This is our last but exciting match here on Grandstand. It's a quarterfinal matchup between a team we've seen before here earlier in the day, Megan Dazan and Gabe Tardio. They're taking on the formidable duo of Andre Diescu and Anna Bright. Andre and Anna come off of a relatively clean win against Deckel, Barr, and Tina Pisnik, 11-5, 11-8. Gabe Tardio and Megan Dazan had a three-game battle here just two hours ago against Colin Schick and Brooke Buckner, uh, taking a, the third game, 11-9. Either way, we're going to be focused here on this quarterfinal match on Grandstand. After this match, you can find even more exciting pickleball for this Friday Pro Mix matchup on pickleballtv.com for Humana Championship Court. We'll, we're about to choose the ball and get started here on the grandstand. Good lucks are being exchanged. It's gotten a little bit overcast. The wind is still swirling, uh, but ultimately it's been a great day of pickleball so far out here in Central Texas. I'm Ryan DeWidgen, joined here by my friend and esteemed colleague, Carlos DeLora. What are you looking for in this in this matchup here, Ryan? What do you think the keys are? The keys, great question. Um, Anna and Andre are ball-making machines, so I think Gabe and Megan are gonna have to do a little bit of, they're gonna have to be a little creative in how they wanna bring pressure I think the biggest variable is Gabe and, and how much he wants to do in and around the kitchen with the speed ups as well as crashing and bashing on his own drive. There we go. Thank That's you. Good start on cue. Tardio looks over to us. I don't want to say we're responsible for that, but um, I think a reflection of his prior match certainly needs to be bringing that more often than not. Good leave there. From Megan, quick 1-0 start here. Thaisku and Anna very familiar with each other given their careers in pro as well as kind of training and playing rec in South Florida. Gabe and Megan relatively new to the partnership dynamics. And also being in the same MLP team, Anna and Thaisku. That's correct. The squeeze. I think one other key here for Gabe and Megan is Megan feeling comfortable. Nope. That sells out by Gabe, but Megan feeling comfortable in and around the kitchen. When she's on, she's on with the dinks, but she was a bit off earlier in the day. It seems like she may have the confidence and kind of that fluid touch back. Yeah, from, from her last match we saw on grandstand for Megan, she got so much better as the match went on. She got more and more confident made more balls and um, she's off to a good start here, I think. Great shot there behind the back of Diescu as he was trying to cheat middle um, as he should, but uh, a nice note of honesty there from Megan. Good crash there from Anna. Diescu and Gabe, very familiar with each other. They've been starting to play as a men's doubles team. They recently went to the final in Arizona. Uh, very familiar with each other's game, and as, as all the pro players are, but kind of 
quite intimate uh, amongst this group. Nice Ernie there from Gabe. We saw him try that a couple times in the last match, but was able to convert this time. Just wide there from Diascu. Tough speed up there from Megan. I think stepping back off the kitchen to Diascu can handle a lot of heat, and it's probably not the pattern we want to see play out. Anna and Andre like to play at a pretty rapid pace. They're ready to go. Great move there from Diascu. Yeah, if Gabe's gonna take it, he's gotta really take it. It can't mm -hmm. be can't no, be half hearted. Yeah, no hesitation. Gotta commit. But comparing to the start in their last match, Megan and Gabe are off to to a much better one here. Oh, wow. Good setup there by Megan initially catching Dayescu a little bit on the forehand, but they end up losing the hands exchange. Two lead here, two point lead here for Dayescu and Bright. Oh, Gabe controlling the kitchen line, bringing a lot of pressure, but when pressure is brought to him, trying to do a little too much with that two-handed backhand. Good two-handed rip there from Dazan. One of the more powerful women we have here on tour. Three-point deficit for Gabe and Megan. Good block there by Anna. She's got the fist pump as she walks back to the baseline with a three-point lead here. A little bit of momentum in their favor. Oh, Anna was on it. Good defense. Able to get back to somewhat of a neutral position, but... Gavin Megan for serve number two. Great job there by Anna as they unwind the stack. That ball falling to Megan's feet. Really tough to handle, especially when you have the SU's length ready to pounce on anything that isn't perfectly volleyed. Uh, that's the time timeout taken by Megan and and Gabe here with a four point deficit in game one.
Welcome back to game one of this quarterfinal matchup here on Grandstand. Daisuke and Anna finding a little bit of momentum. Ooh, beautiful little roll, punch volley, whatever you want to say. It was, it was nice and it worked. It lands a few inches in. They're rolling at 8-3 now. Again, another drive, hybrid, hybrid, hybrid drive slash drop there from Anna as Megan has to run into position. Daisuke there to clean it up. A little bit of a miscommunication there from Megan and Gabe about who was going where, and Daisuke takes advantage of it. Looks like they'll be staying and not unwinding the stack here. Another beautiful backhand reach in there. So a uh, tight game burst out into an 11-3 win for Anna and Andre. Game two coming back in just a moment here on Grandstand. Again, this will be the last match here on the stream for Grandstand, but plenty more high-level mixed doubles pickleball coming on Pickleball TV, where you can find some battles happening on Humana Championship Court. Okay, Dazan and Tardio will have the first serve of game number two, try to get out and create a little bit of momentum, try to find a pattern that can work consistently for them. Wow, great digs there from Megan. Good defense from Gabe. Diet. A 1-0 start here. Daisuke's reach just brings so much imposing and real, real pressure. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Megan quite happy with how that <laughs> turned out. They're smiling. Uh, smiling's highly correlated with a little bit of confidence, so we'll, we'll see where they can take this two-point lead. Commentator curse. So uh, back on the paddle of Anna and Andre. Game two, quarterfinal match. Nice, right, good deep balls there from Megan keeping them back. So it'll be the second serve here, Diascu at 0 2 2. Swung just a little too big. Oh, the shoulder shimmy turned poach Ernie gone a slightly wrong there for Gabe. Just a bit of overplaying, but again, we, we, and I think Megan wants him to, to to be the guy to take a lot of balls, which is always tough to calibrate the balance. Megan there trying to keep uh, Andre honest, unable to 
make that last one. Two, two, two. Three forehands from Gabe, just not enough as he brings it back across for Anna to finish down the line. Fun battle to see though, up close and personal. That's just Tardio Long right there. <laughs> Great play from Megan. Not scared to go at Andre there. Wasn't scared to go especially at Colin Schick, especially in that prior match. He's actually, as he looks on, probably is familiar with that right hip being targeted with that forehand speed up. Just wide there from Gabe. Was definitely there, though. We've seen a lot of missed ATPs today. there from Gabe 2-2-2 two, two, two. trying to get the ball back see if they can get something going in this second game maybe just overextending there a little bit on that last one but I like where his mindset's at trying to be more aggressive Just sailing long, so now Bright Diascu 4 2. Oh, that a little confusion so, there. So I think uh, Anna was trying to call it out, but the ball might have hit her paddle before it landed, and I think they all agreed on it. Yeah. So get the ball back 2 4 1. Stuff there from Gabe. Dyeski's counter is never awfully powerful in the classical sense, but just always ready. And he can give you three, four, five in a row. Good ball down at the feet of Gabe. Really hard to kind of reset and get that one back. Fast pace of Anna and Andre. They certainly like to take those small gaps of momentum brought to you by unforced errors. Oh, oh. good stuff. Oh. So Megan Dazan's sitting there with a, sitting there with a forehand counters it in, it's a winner but, but the kitchen the paddle what? touches the kitchen yeah so that is unfortunately going to go the way of bright and diaskew i don't think i've ever seen that happen i only can remember riley newman his paddle breaking That's but right. other than that 
I don't watch much pro pickleball. <laughs> and that sails. And Megan tosses the paddle down, and that is a timeout called by Dazan and Tardio. Three point lead here for Anna, uh, Anna and Andre. Unfortunate circumstance there with that, but that is sports. We'll be back in a sec. Back here to game two, quarterfinal matchup. Anna and Andre on a bit of a run here, trying to close this out and advance to a semifinal. Encounter there by Megan. <laughs> Unwinding the stack has really created a lot of problems for Gabe and Megan as Megan has to jut back to that right hand side. Hybrid drives by Anna and, and drives by Andre have created a lot of chaos. But they've got the ball back with the side out. Formation. Oh, <laughs> and wow. it works. <laughs> I mean, that, that it's such a foreign look that it's it's hard to know where to go, and I think it confused Anna a little bit. Her brain was in a noodle, but great hands from Dardio. Ooh, with the right idea there, just sailing long. Four seven two here. Actually hit an out ball. She's again, targeting that Diescu right hip really well, but can't get that backhand counter down and away. Three point lead here for Bright and Diescu. Great patience by both teams. A lot of touch in and around the kitchen there. It's easy to take for granted how many quality touches are contained in just that one point. Anna Bright. Classic forehand pressure dink as she kind of rolls that paddle tip going from south to north. She's one of the best from the right hand side with it. Wow. 
What a great shot there from Hannah. Going right down the line of Tardio, keeping him honest. Anna Bright was on it, but just too powerful to Alpha Perseus. So five point deficit for Megan and Gabe. Trying to force a game three to advance here on Friday. That dink sails a little high. Andre there to clean it up. Yeah, hit that tennis net, Megan. <laughs> no one uh, likes that net. No one. We don't even need that here. There we go. First successful ATP of the game by both teams, but a beautiful one as Anna moves and curls that back in. So match point on the paddle of Diescu. Big finish there by the tall man. So great quarterfinal matchup here. Diescu and Bright take it in two. They will advance to the semifinals where at a Humana Championship Court, they'll take on Vivian, David, and Thomas Wilson, the number two seed. So the four against the two, you can find that at pickleballtv.com. Thank you everyone for tuning in here at the Viola Austin Open Grandstand Edition. We will catch you later.